IP address, through the loopback IP address also, will be treated as belonging to the internet zone. Um, this uh, feature of Internet Explorer uh, fits the rules of, uh, uh, of URL classification that Internet Explorer has documented and shouldn't be a problem in, uh, in and of itself, but uh, it's one of the key steps in the attack uh, that will be, will be shown here. Uh, we have a lot of uh, conference calls with the Microsoft uh, Security Response Center and they, they are kind of, uh, uh, their words are that they are kind of stuck in here because this feature cannot uh, be easily, easily fixed to say something because uh, they cannot uh, at, at assign those addresses to the, their uh, default corresponding, to, uh, corresponding zones without having uh, impact on already existing applications. Um, well, in, let's see what, why could that be a problem. Uh, that could be a problem because uh, according to the, the security zone scheme, uh, a page that is located in a, in a given zone cannot either neither reference or redirect its navigation to a more privileged zone because it will be a zone elevation uh, issue and it is not allowed. But uh, if considering the, this dialogue between a, a computer and a random uh, server in the internet, uh, if the server uh, redirects the navigation towards a file that is located in the own victim's computer, the redirection will be, uh, will be successful because it doesn't break any rules. The, it is a court, uh, it is, uh, it agrees with the, with the guidelines of the Internet Explorer uh, security zone scheme. So the, the redirection will occur. There is also another way uh, to, to bypass or to render uh, useless, in this case, uh, the security zone restrictions. That is by basically using another protocol to access the resource uh, the remote resource. For example, if you're using HTTP for ac accessing a resource that is located in a web server uh, that is uh, explicitly added to a restricted site, uh, you c if you can access the server, the same server, by using HTTPS or SMB, the same resource will be treated as belonging to uh, internet. So the restrictions applied uh, explicitly will not have effect. Here you can see uh, something that is, uh, is hard-coded some way in, in Windows behavior. The cookies folder here uh, is treated always as a restricted site because the content stored in there is considered to be uh, some way dangerous. But if you access the same file by using the UNC notation, the file is located in a zone that is internet and the restrictions that does not apply anymore. Well, now let's see uh, how uh, could manage uh, an attacker uh, to put some, some way uh, HTML or scripting code in in clients' uh, hard drives. It can be done uh, currently as in every web browser through the navigation history files, through cookies, or in the case of Internet Explorer, also through the mapping files that are the index that files we have discussed before. This is a feature that is common to every web browser and that's okay, but the problem here is not in the feature by itself, but in the way it is implemented, because on the one hand, uh, those contents sent from the internet are saved on those uh, tracking files with little or no sanitization at all. So uh, if you send something that, is, uh, that can be some way interpreted 
uh, as code, uh, it will be stored as that, as it is. And also, Internet Explorer, as most of the web browsers, uh, allows rendering uh, files that are not pure HTML, but uh, they have HTML parts as HTML files, and they will simply ignore the parts that cannot be rendered. For example, if uh, you request a, a page in a server and that, that server sets a cookie containing HTML code, the cookie content will contain actually uh, that HTML code. Well, another feature that is used in this uh, attack vector is uh, abusing of the way Internet Explorer treats uh, a given file uh, based on the MIME type detection we have discussed before. Uh, as we saw, the, the decision of, of how to treat a given file is based uh, mainly upon the, the server supplied MIME type and how this uh, and, and the result of the find mine from data function after scanning uh, a small chunk from the file that that was tried to obtain. But there are uh, some problems in, in this implementation because uh, as we discussed at first, uh, the server the server provide mine type will be used uh, will be forced when the following conditions are true. When there's no positive match obtained from the find mine from data uh, scan, and, and the server provided mine type is known, and there is no conflict. So the file is not, uh, is not entirely different from the, from the one the server is suggesting. And there is also another problem that has been proved uh, that Internet Explorer doesn't behave consistently in the same way when accessing a same resource uh, by different means. Um, for example, when accessing a resource by direct navigation, uh, Internet Explorer can render uh, th uh, that resource in a given way, but if accessing the same resource through an if reference or through a scripting or through a redirection, the resource can be treated as if it was uh, of another type. Uh, that has been also a key to, to carry out this, this attack vector. Uh, for example, in the first advisory we have published in, that line of, in this line of attacks, um, when, when a website contains uh, an, object, uh, an object, HTML object, um, referencing a resource that can be treated as HTML, uh, the resource is treated as such. But the, the point here is uh, when you try to access a resource, to, to treat a resource that is not uh, HTML and that Internet Explorer would uh, find not to be HTML through an object directly, uh, Internet Explorer will complain and will not allow rendering that object. But if you access that object uh, through a redirection, first referring to a, a valid HTML object and then referring to the object that is not HTML, Internet Explorer would r actually uh, render that object as HTML. That, uh, that was uh, the key to, to perform this first uh, attack. Um, well, so far we have been just uh, exposing some small features that Internet Explorer has. Uh, perhaps the, it's not so obvious the connection between them. And what is indeed obvious is that uh, some of them, or most of them, Im implies a uh, perhaps small security risk. Uh, I mean, for example, uh, storing uh, sensitive information in inside index dead files as text, as raw text, uh, 